Dear friends, Solar, as you know, has a range of inflatable motorboats for completely different tasks. We have been manufacturing boats for over 20 years under completely different conditions and absolutely different reservoirs. Today we present you a completely new series of Catamaran's Solar Strannik. Boats were developed by us in collaboration with talented designer Lankin Anton. Today we want to test drive and review so you will have an idea about this brand new range of our boats. The boats are quite compact and have a weight of 63 and 67 kilograms respectively. Total weight of the boats is 77 and 81 kilograms. Let's now unpack and talk about them in more detail. Dear friends, please note that since the boat is a catamaran type, two inflatable skags are an integral element. A feature of these solar stranding boats is that inflatable skags are located under tube and the bottom in this cavity. This gives excellent compactness. And these skags, when packed in the boat, do not stick out here. That is why you can reduce the main size when folded. The location of the skags itself allows this. When packing, they are located directly under the rigid element, under the transom. So nothing sticks out here and this allows the boat to be packed as compactly as possible. This was not done in similar board designs and these skags always bulged out as they were directly under the tube and the longest size in the package itself was always more than one and a half meters. In our board the size is one meter twenty centimeters. What is interesting about solar boats of the Strannik series? Let's figure it out. In general, the catamaran type of boats are designed for expeditionary use. If you need to have the most spacious inflatable hull with the minimum weight of the boat, then this is your choice. If you want to have the most seaworthy inflatable hull of all boats on the market, catamaran type boats are the most seaworthy. What are the features? Come closer. Here we have two models of boats, as I have already said, the 420 Strannik and the 380. Length of the cockpit of Solar 420 Strannik is 3 meters and 10 centimeters. Width is 95 centimeters. Solar board cockpit dimensions of 380 Strannik are 270 long and 95 wide. Well, the feature is that there is no narrowing. Width of the cockpit is kept up to the bow. In addition, the boats have a self-draining cockpit. What does it mean? The flow line is located much higher than the water line, probably 12 to 15 centimeters, and on the sides, in the rear of the transom, in its lower part, there are two drain kingstones. Tens of liters of water that got into the boat somewhere during a careless turn leave the boat in tens of seconds, very quickly. Also, one of the main advantages of solar catamaran boats Strannik 
is the excellent lateral stability. Due to two skags, you can safely move inside the boat. Boat retains its stability and does not bend at all, because in static water you get into the cavity between ridden and main tube. And in this way it stabilizes the boat very much. The same thing happens in dynamics, but skags themselves work there. This means they rest very well on the water along the entire length of the board and do not allow the board to capsize in any way. The next distinguishing feature of the solo boards of Strannik series are skags, as I have already said. In general, this is the main element of the design. In our boards, the skags themselves are extended from bow to stern what it gives. They work completely. Skag extension allows you to more freely handle weight distribution in the board. This means that you can place useful luggage in the bow as much as you need. A feature of boards of this type is precisely this moment. Also, in the aft part are the same skags, they are extended to the end of the tube. This allows you to go on a boat, on a glider, against the wave, against the wind, without a stern trim, even on an empty boat or alone. Well, now let's take a look at the skags. I propose to turn the boat over and tell about them. Let's take a closer look at the elongate skags of solar boats from Strannik series. As you can see, they are located almost along the entire length of the body. Brought out of the transom line, these skags allow the board to go on planning without stern trims. In the bow, the skag reaches the bow. This allows you to create a reliable support when moving through the waves and allows you not to dive the bow of the boat under the oncoming flow of water. This means you can more easily dispose your luggage in the bow, you can load your nose more, put more things there. This is very good advantage. In addition, as you can see, there are two side ridens on the skags, they divert excess water, and the board drags as little water as possible. But the most significant point is their location. As you can see, the skag is located in the cavity between main cylinder and bottom. Thus, this element is responsible for the longitudinal rigidity. Pressure in the skags is 400 megabar, a little more than in the bottom and in the tubes. And this is a kind of fastening element making the bottom stiffer, making the tube stiffer. Stretched fabric, when the skag is glued to the balloon, allows for a smooth ride when turning and there is no sticking or overkill as such. Also, another important point. The skag located between the bottom and the tube, which is responsible for the longitudinal stiffness also participates in the diagonal stiffness in the same way. So, we can see that the two skags located along the length when driving with some kind of tacks, when moving along the waves, eliminate all these diagonal changes in geometry of the hull. They help each other in the sense and cut off unnecessary fluctuations.
In general, we left and decided to ride. We arrived at such a charming little island on the Ob River. We came here in seven, or there are seven of us right here, right now. In 420 there were four people, and in 380, three people. We sailed here at the same speed, approximately 32-34 km per hour. Once again, I was convinced that the 420, due to its greater length, 40 cm, carries more cargo. The boats were moving at the same speed, but 420 had 80 kg more because of the person. Now, we decided to pump up the skags a little, because the water is cold and the pressure dropped, and then test it again. What else can we tell about this boat? Boat is very well controlled, very clear. At the slightest turn of the tiller, feedback is very good. If you need somewhere, especially on water bodies, if there is some kind of a wave, if you saw something they are late, didn't make out, there is always the opportunity to react and bypass some kind of a bad wave. This board is very comfortable. About the self-draining cockpit. See how high is the floor level. The water level and floor level about 12-15 cm of difference. And here is how such a groove turns out. There is water that got into the board. If it overflowed somewhere, it flows here. And then there are just two holes that we showed before. Everything goes away quickly on the run. I really like this design. Well done. Bench was glued in the back for transverse rigidity. Well, Another independent chamber is also useful. About speed. Today we went in two boats, seven people, as I already said, in 420 there were four people. After pumping, skag speed increased to 35-36 km per hour. Our boat is also somewhere at 2 km per hour. The minimum pressure for the skag is 400 megabar. At this pressure, all the running characteristics are revealed. Pressure in the bottom and in the tubes is 250 megabar. So the main element that sets the driving performance is skags. They play the main role in the movement of the body and a lot depends on them.